Hello, welcome to another task. Okay, in this task, we're going to be looking at 20 task 20F. Okay, so um, if you read the question carefully, you'll find out that the major points here are that John Reeves did an extra four hours work. All right, and then the manager wants, wants to see average number of hours worked displayed as what integer as an integer value. And then also as rounded to the uh, also rounded yeah rounded to the nearest whole hour okay so um, and the, also the question says that we should print two copies of the spreadsheet showing these values so which which means that we are required to print two copies showing the average number of hours worked by John Reeves right um in integer and also rounded to the nearest whole hour okay so let's delve into that now the, the first thing i'm going to do is to acknowledge that uh john reeves, john reeves worked uh, for our four extra hours so which means that 17 plus 4 will give us uh 21 right so and then that changes the average um hours worked okay to a decimal place which is what we want to take care of all right so the first thing i'm going to do to show us how integer uh, uh is represented okay how we can change the x uh, the average um value to integer so let me just have integer here and then have round or rounding or rounded whatever rounded something like this <clears throat> okay so I'm going to I'm going to change I'm going to have a, an integer form of the content of B10 in C10 all right so um, I'm going to have equals int okay I'll pick up that and then close that and then you have integer form out of it okay so the next thing I'm going to have is equals also which is the rounded uh, the round okay so I'm going to round this to zero zero decimal places which is the nearest um whole hour right so i'm gonna have this and then comma zero so the re zero represents zero decimal places for rounding all right so we can have something like this so this you will find out that what an integer or int function does is that when you have a decimal place what it does is that it's going to true throw away the decimal place and then give you the, the whole number which is the the there's integer part integer part of that number right but what the round does is is that it's going to round up the number right so of course if you understand what rounding uh, rounding up means find out that when the decimal place the last decimal place is if it's up to five of course it's going to like add it up to the you know the whole number part or something like that okay so that's how it works so if you take a look at what i have here you find out that uh, this um 62.5512 you find out that uh, the two, this is in, in two decimal places here if you convert that so take note of the formula right here at the formula bar here okay so it's in two decimal places and also uh g6 which is 62.6 .6, is in one decimal place then you have uh, 63 which is in zero decimal place so take note that 62.62 has changed to 63 because 6 is up to what is up to um uh, what's it called is up to 5 right so you can go ahead to have something like uh, uh instead of having um zero here you can change the zero to minus one so you can have the nearest 10 here and then change zero to minus two so i can have the nearest hundred so you can go ahead to try that all right so that's that for rounding so now let me go ahead to do what the manager wants us to do okay so now i have the average here right so i want to change the average to int integer so i can i can have only the the whole number part or integer integer form of the number right so i can go and modify the formula by having equal sign of course i'm going to have equal sign there and then change it to int and then close everything okay so so you can have the integer form of it so you can go ahead to print this uh um you know value okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to change it also to um 
to to round it to the to the nearest uh whole hour right so uh, finally i'm going to remove this also and then having myself another form of formula again just to show you how you can do that round again so i'm going to also open bracket and then after the average or whatever you can have um comma there and then zero and then you can close that so that will reduce it to the zero decimal place which is the the near i mean the nearest whole hour right so which makes it what 17 okay so that is how you can you know go around this uh, question please if you have any uh extra question you can leave a comment down below okay so don't forget to subscribe and uh, also like my video and you can share the video okay so thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video